Miramar's a marine fighter base. It's also a working airport. And this military air terminal is pretty functional. However, down in Houston, there's a dedicated band of enthusiasts restoring a 1940s airport terminal that was definitely designed to impress. The municipal air terminal at Houston's Hobby Airport was built in 1940 and represents a time when air travel was something of an exciting and romantic adventure. Although long closed, the building's about to be restored and reopened as a living museum. Drew Coates, the driving force behind the restoration, explains why the building has such an appeal. The building really represents uh, what uh, is commonly referred to as the golden age of aviation. This was when aviation was its most uh, romantic, uh, when uh, civil aviation was the cutting edge technology, when uh, aviation was really, for the first time, beginning to bring the world closer together. Uh, at the time, civil aviation was a very exclusive means of transportation. It was very romantic. Uh, people uh, who were going to fly by air uh, that was a major event, like taking a luxury liner, people dressed in their finest clothes, uh, women wore gloves, gentlemen wore hats, that sort of thing. Uh, cities recognized that people who arrived by air were invariably going to be VIPs. And so it was very important for really all cities to have very impressive gateways for those sorts of uh, very important visitors to arrive in their cities. They wanted to make an excellent first impression. And Houston decided it also needed to have a beautiful grand air terminal. And so it commissioned an architect by the name of Joseph Finger to design this building. Uh, and he did an admirable job. This is a beautiful example, a great example of classic Art Deco architecture. The thing that's interesting about this building, though, is that most cities have destroyed those buildings either because airports closed or because airports had to be expanded and the old terminal was in the way or because airports had to be expanded and the new terminal had to go where the old terminal was. And we're very, very fortunate here in Houston that this building still is here. Former airline pilot A.J. High remembers flying into the airport and the very early air traffic control available at the time. Back in the 40s and 50s, the majority of the civilian aircraft in those days did not have radios in them. So the towers had to operate with a system of lights. They had uh, light guns up here with uh, the green light and a red light and an amber light. The amber was a caution, of course, and uh, the red light meant stay away. And if you got on the downwind leg uh, and they flashed a, a green light at you, you were cleared to land. And I did come in low on fuel a few times, too. It's a little worrisome if you don't get the green light at the right time. Uh, it's going to be a state-of-the-art uh, museum focusing on civil aviation, uh, Houston's a very rich aviation heritage. We want museum visitors, as they walk in the front door, to feel like they've stepped back in time and they're in an airline terminal in the golden age of civil aviation. Uh, we'll have period music playing in the background, Glenn Miller, things of that nature, recreated loudspeaker announcements announcing the Trans-Texas Airways flight to uh, Palestine and, and, and uh, small Texas towns and uh, exotic foreign destinations, the Pan American flight to Havana, things like that. The ticket counters will be recreated. We'll use a lot of the original offices to recreate the functions that you would have seen in an airport at that time. We're very fortunate because the existing layout of the building really uh, lends itself very well to what we want to do with the museum. So there will be very little that we will need to do in the way of moving walls or taking walls out or putting walls in. Howard Hughes had this hangar just north of the tower and Howard uh, didn't like to waste any time. So he had them put in this east-west runway here, runway 826. All it is now is a short taxi strip here now, but it uh, did extend on out to past the center of the field. Howard liked to fire up his Sikorsky there in the hangar and just take off from there. He started his takeoff roll from inside the hangar and right down the runway and, and off. He was quite a colorful uh, gentleman. In, in looking back at our history and what an important role, what a vital role aviation played uh, in, uh, in uh, the history of the Houston area and the history of the country and the history of the world, uh, perhaps the most important development of the 20th century. Um, this captures, this represents so much of that innovation. Um, and while there uh, fortunately have been for decades people who uh, 
dedicated themselves to restoring and preserving uh, classic military aircraft. Uh, there are very few areas where you can go where you can see uh, uh, any effort paid to preservation of civil aviation heritage, uh, be it in the form of uh, classic civil aviation aircraft or uh, civil aviation air terminals. So it is very important because there are so few of these type structures left to preserve what is left. We're very fortunate to be able to do that here and to be able to capture and showcase much of that history using this building as a focal point. This old building, uh, I have a lot of memories of this old building and uh, I would just love to see it restored and uh, put back in its original shape and that's what we intend to do.